terms of expecting the media to set the agenda and how, how, how far do you think that goes to go? Uh, thank you so much, uh, But for us as an elections body, when we look at uh, where we are and where we tend to be, with the mindset uh, with the backdrop of uh, 207, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, expectations in terms of where the media can lead us to. Uh, for instance, I, I want just to speak to about four points. One, we've uh, just had a boundary uh, delimitation process that is still ongoing. And uh, if you look at how it came out in terms of coverage, you may find that uh, the, 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 the main the main concern of the Commission, that was boundaries, actually was not coming out as it was coming out as uh, uh, what really came out is the equivalent of uh, uh, the, the elections we have with, com with the local government, where people are throwing uh, chairs against each other here and there. But the, the issue was that we were trying to see how can we be able to engage a number of uh, silent factors. Uh, important boundaries actually were not brought out uh, that well. For example, we are looking at uh, electoral units as uh, units of uh, representation, and these are units where people are going to get uh, leaders from. And there are other factors to consider, for instance, uh, the issues of population of uh, a given electoral area or a given constituency, the cultural links within. But I think what was playing out at most was uh, the struggle between the politicians. And we really had looked towards tilting that agenda from focusing on uh, just the struggle for power uh, among its politicians to the issues of uh, actual representation. But having said that, we still have a few processes to go. And after that, we shall we be heading into the voter registration uh, exercise. When, uh, polling stations are determined. And there is a, a link. You cannot, for instance, vote if you are not registered. And uh, it, is, it is said, I may not have some uh, reference points, that a number of the elite, a, mumba, a number of people who are to media, particularly say print media, are normally not voters. They actually do the, uh, talk about it, but when it time comes for them to have a voter's card, they don't go out. I don't know whether that is a reality as we speak here, but you may, you may find that, that if uh, that's the case, we'd like to see a situation where, in terms of uh, urging people now to take that responsibility, we'd like to see how media can be able to come out and urge people to go beyond, beyond the talk and be able to be active participants. And the aspects of uh, a uh, responsible electoral commission, and our prof has alluded to this in talking to a responsible electoral body, an EMD. Uh, the Elections Act sets out a number of offenses, and uh, employees of the electoral commission are not exemption. We would like to see how, for instance, this can be an item that can be really brought up as we move towards the election. Of course, we have uh, the, the, those who are not employees, for instance, with the Electoral Commission, uh, the common manichi, the electoral offenses, but there are also those offenses that touch on uh, employees of the Electoral Commission. And we'd like to see how this plays out in terms of are people aware of this? Are we able to move, uh, uh, to move and really try to refocus on, uh, on these offenses? So that uh, when, by the time we get there, we have a critical mass of Kenyans who appreciate that these uh, offenses that uh, if you do commit the uh, penalties to, to them. Uh, Madam has talked about the issues of uh, electoral position, for instance. Uh, some of the recent polls show that uh, most Kenyans, we're talking about six positions to be within the constitution that uh, we are going to elect people. And a number of Kenyans are not quite aware what are these six positions, what are the requirements for each, and uh, it's, 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 it's a bit, uh, as, we, as we move towards 2012 or 2013, whatever the date will be for that, those elections, 
I think it's going to be critical for us in terms of media trying to bring up this. We know that uh, a number of people now, as I say, are in the governor's uh, position. What are the roles that go with that? What, are the, what are the responsibilities of our governor? Apart from just the aspect that you're looking at it in terms of how much money they're going to control, but what really goes into it? Already in terms of uh, uh, gender representation or women representatives, there was already this loose talk that uh, there's only a women who will elect women and men will not vote for, for women. And th th this is something that you're not allowed to come up in terms of uh, confusing the masses. So that there's 47 places that are supposed to be for women. Uh, both men and women are able to vote. It's only that the woman who can buy, and, uh, but a man can also vote for the same. So how do you bring out uh, this in, in terms of the, the qualifications, in terms of also the expectations, and also in terms of, uh, of their roles? I think this is uh, one thing we, we, we do look for as uh, the media actually can if it takes, uh, if, it's, if it's, it is able to take up this, we, we should be able to have Kenyans who are aware of, uh, of their, whom they are going to vote for. Um, there is uh, the issue of uh, uh, integrity of leadership. Right now there is a discussion going on around the bill uh, coming out of chapter 6. And uh, I think I recently saw a cartoon and, uh, in Standard <coughs> where there were two, uh, there are two, there are two, there are two stages. The clearance from KRA, that is the, uh, those are the financial obligations of uh, of uh, elected leaders, and that how they was being cleared by all all aspiring politicians. But now those uh, the hurdle for integrity, which uh, the bar was set to raise a bit higher, and uh, everybody who was clearing the first hurdle was trying to look up and he is not able to clear that second hurdle. How can we help on this in terms of uh, uh, reporting that it actually sinks among our aspirants and our among our leadership that the aspect of integrity is something that we should not only talk about it, uh, but also work it up to, uh, up to the election time. And then there's the whole issue of uh, good leadership as people come up. What do they say, the qualities that we do expect of uh, good leadership? Who should we, who should buy? We need to be able to at least come up and scrutinize uh, good leadership in terms of accountability to the people, availability for consultation, uh, issues of uh, honesty and also being fair and, and just. Uh, maybe last is the item of engaging citizens on the various uh, aspects, particularly within the electoral process. We know there are several acts that have to be implemented. We, we are looking, uh, for instance, the political parties act has set us a high bar for political parties that's supposed to meet uh, specific criteria so that we're moving away from uh, briefcase politicians to uh, political parties that have a national outlook. And sometimes uh, this is an aspect that sometimes we are, we are not able to really focus on. And I think uh, it's time that uh, the media can be able to bring out uh, this kind of aspect. And I also mentioned the issue of say for the Elections Act in terms of what are the requirements and uh, if we are able to point all this out, uh, then I, I see uh, the media setting uh, the agenda for us in 2012. But even uh, as we talk about that, there is, for instance, now maybe uh, uh, concluding remarks, we will have the issue of the election date. And we know it's, uh, it's, uh, it's open to discussion. I mean, it's, it's, people are discussing around it. Is it, is it March? Is it 20? Is it December? And this is something that would sit as an engagement in this discussion, so that it's not left to uh, to politicians to decide on that. And I think if we brought it up as a critical point of discussion within the media, 
we shall be able to calm the nerves much earlier before we wait until it is uh, too late. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir.